Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter, and I want to give you some more no BS hiring advice to help you do an even better job of, of recruiting, interviewing, etc. And this advice comes from someone who emailed me yesterday looking for some support. Now, she had already seen my video about how to address gaps in your background, but she had a very unusual gap, and her gap related to having been caught in a terrorist bombing, suffering traumatic brain injury, taking several years away from the workforce, and now trying to return to work. Now, I don't know how it is for you hearing that, but my heart uh, was wide open. I, I did a video for her, but I also told her I do a video for employers. This is something she said. She said that Often when she interviews, and mind you, although she was in a bombing in Indonesia, she's now a U.S., um, I don't know if she's a citizen or not, but she's a U.S. resident. And she said, often when I interview and I'm asked what the gap is about, and I talk about being caught up um, and having had a, a, a traumatic brain injury from the bombing, she's seems perfectly fine now. I haven't spoken to her, but we've corresponded. Uh, she seems terrific. And she says, you know, interviewers often look at me as though what happened to me is contagious. Catch that one. She's a victim of a bombing, and people respond to her with horror uh, about what happened to her, sufficiently so that she's able to detect it. It reminds me of several years ago when I was still working in New York. Uh, there was a, uh, an administrative assistant in our offices who, through, through no fault of her own, uh, was walking in midtown Manhattan, right near the Empire State Building. A robbery had occurred. Um, someone had been shot. The police followed the shooter, and she was caught in a crossfire uh, and injured as part of their attempt to apprehend this shooter. So she takes a bullet and, and suddenly she's damaged goods. And I mean that as though employers are looking at her as being defective. Now, I've got to pause for a second and say, does this really seem fair? Is this really the right response? Um, I had suggested to her that it would be normal for her to hear the follow-up question of, well, what happened? Why were you out for so long? Uh, and to respond by saying, I had a severe um, medical issue that lasted several years. I'm absolutely fine now, uh, but it kept me out of work for several years. I also told her not to expect to ever return uh, to a job at her current level uh, or her most recent level or most recent compensation, that she'd been away from the workforce for too long. But this isn't about her. This is about employers and how they respond when they're dealing with difficult situations. I want to encourage you that the worker who basically says I had a medical issue is not broken, defective, or contagious. There's someone who had a medical problem. The worker who lost a parent or took care of a parent for years um, during the last stages of their life um, is not defective or broken, but actually remarkably honorable. And you need to deal with people in that kind of way in order to ensure that, well, they have a fair chance. Now again, I'm not suggesting that you must hire them, but to look at someone as though they're broken or what happened to them is contagious um, is completely unfair. I know you know that intellectually. Um, I would just say that if your emotional shock displays itself, um, to very simply return uh, from that place and say, wow, um, I'm sure you couldn't help but notice how shocked I was by, by what you said. Uh, if what I how I appeared was uncomfortable for you, I apologize. And you're under no obligation to do anything more than evaluate this person fairly. But when you're shocked, it affects them. You've got to do some backpedaling too. I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you find this helpful. Uh, come over to my website, thebiggamehunter.us. I've got more information there that you can watch, listen to, or read that'll help you find work more quickly.
A few final points. First of all, if your current firm is trying to hire someone or if your firm is trying to hire someone, I'd love to help. Send me an email at jeffaltman at thebiggamehunter.us. Let me know who to contact. If it's you, let's set up a time to speak. I'd love to help your firm staff positions. And if we're not already connected on LinkedIn, send me a connection request at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. I accept connection requests from people worldwide, except if you look like a spammer or scammer, except if you're a third-party recruiter. I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you have a great day. Take care.